everyone. I just hit Luca in the head with my elbow. elbow. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Okay. Yeah. My baby. How's everything? Good. So, anybody here? No, anybody. Let's see. Everybody. Is anybody here? Is anybody here? Is anybody? Maybe we should scooch over a little bit, by the way. Hmm. Normally it doesn't take people this long. Hello, first person. Who's the first person? Who's that first person? Who's that lucky uh, person? Lucky guy or yeah. We thought we were going to be late, but we made it on time. Where is everybody? Are they, are they homeschooling right now? Hello, everyone. Hello. How's everybody? We hope well. We hope you made it through. I'll listen to that book. That book makes me laugh all the time. Mm -hmm. That book makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> it just won't stop. It won't stop. Hi, Paula. Hello. There's Daddy. Hi, Daddy. That's good. We see some other people. We just don't. It shows eyeballs, but it's not showing us. Hello, 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 everyone. It's not the same with it. Here, scooch this way, buddy, so we can, so you can be on too. We just, we want to make sure that everybody is having a good Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Hey, there's Dan. Hi, Dan. Good to see you. What is happening? Well, I'll tell you what. We are, we're, we're ready. We're going to get started. We love you, Daddy. We love everyone. You, we, you took all the cookies. Oh, guess what? Um, yes, we've been eating a lot of cookies here lately. So, hi, Alexandra. Nice to see you. So, let's get started right away. Um, this, by the way, if you hear this laughing, this is the joke book. It just won't stop. So, while we're waiting for everybody to join us, hi, Integrity Auto. How are you? Um, while we're waiting for everybody to join us, what do you say we tell everybody about our our past comedians that we like to tell everyone about? You prep the you prep the video. Um, okay. I'll tell you about Laurel and Hardy. They were an amazing duo. Um, stay in the screen with their butt. They were an amazing duo. Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy, they teamed up in 1926, which was pretty amazing. They did over 60 short films. They were just really silly. It was a typical um, kind of comedy team back then where there would be one physically tall and thin man with a shorter, heavier guy. And they did a lot of funny stuff. And... Um, Let's just see. They did a lot of silent films. Can you believe that there were films before even I was born that had no audio to them at all? They were not only black and white, but no audio. Then when they got audio, they became talkies. So we're going to show you a quick clip of Laurel and Hardy. Okay, just a quick clip. I'm going to shut that light so we cannot have that there. Oh, man. Nice. Look at them dancing. They used to do silly dancing. That's Laurel and Hardy, Stan Laurel, and Oliver Hardy. So they might be fun for you guys to explore on your own. Yeah, that's okay. Sorry, well, that might be fun for you to explore on your own. They did some really silly. Maybe that was the original TikTok. What do you think? <laughs> was that was that the original TikTok? We've been seeing some of you are doing TikToks. Some people even have TikToks of me. Is that weird? Is that weird for you to see when people do TikToks of me? If you have one, share it with us. Yeah. Want to say hello to a few people coming in? Uh, let's see who else do we have joining us. We have a, quite a few uh, people joining us. Hi, Harrison. Hi, Nate. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thank you. Hey, we love you. Listen, grandparents are super important right now. Make sure that you call Best them. If, and uh, if some people don't have them, well, you can share ours because we have some great ones. And Nona, say hi to Nick. And there's Uncle T and Joey and Carly and probably Aunt Lizzie too. Hi, Kara. So we have a couple quick jokes. Let's start with one that someone sent. Feel free to always send it. We'll give a chance to read it. Let's see. This is from Caleb Sloan. Okay. Why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? I don't know. Why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? It got stuck in the crack. <laughs> That's a good one, Caleb. That's awesome. Well, go ahead, Luca. Do you have a couple to open up? 
Uh, what do you call two birds in love? What do you call two birds in love? I'm not sure. Tweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> How does a scientist freshen her breath? I'm not sure. Experiments. <laughs> That's a good one. But... How can you tell vi a vampire has a cold? How does, can you tell if a vampire has a cold? She starts coughing. That's hysterical. <laughs> so we, uh, I have a quick one for you. Um, it's a little bit longer joke. One day there was a police officer and he pulled over a car that was speeding. And as he walked up to the door, he saw a man in the car. And behind him, in the back seat, of course, using their seat belts, were four penguins. He said to the man, what are you doing with four penguins in the car? And the man said, I'm taking them to the zoo. And the police officer said, okay, well, I'm gonna let you go. You better hurry, because you need to get those penguins to the zoo. I'll let you go with your speeding. And the man went on. The next day, the police officer saw the exact same car speeding, and he pulled over, and it was the man with the four penguins in the back seat, but the penguins had on sunglasses today. And the police officer said, hey, what are you doing? I said you could go take the penguins to the zoo. And the guy said, yeah, they enjoyed the zoo. Now I'm taking the penguins to the amusement park. <laughs> it's silly. So are you ready? Um, I'm gonna play our first comedian. A lot of the grown-ups probably know this guy. Um, pretty amazing comedian. He um, actually was, um, well, he's one of the best podcasters in the country. And let me tell you something about him. He actually interviewed the president. He's our friend, the very funny uh, comedian, Mark oh, yeah. Aaron. Hold on. And you guys know that we have uh, sometimes technical difficulties because, hey, this is just us in our dining room. Ready? And here we go. God bless you. Okay. Here's one for you. What has four wheels and flies? Yeah, a garbage truck. Get it? Huh? Flies? All right, you know, so it's, it's an okay joke. <laughs> so that's, that's oh, that funny. <laughs> Can you imagine though, Mark started his podcast in his garage. He was one of the first people to do podcasts, and then it just got bigger and bigger and bigger, and one day, he was interviewing the president. So it lets you know that you can do something that may be something new that isn't done, and you can make good things happen. Look at, well, don't forget, we have our signs up. You could put your signs up. You could do your little parades, put them in the front, to a couple more people say hi, and what's going on, K-Pasa, K-Pasa. Um, Michael sends us some how nice to see us some girls. So, we got hey, great, that's awesome. A big shout out to all the teachers. Thank you for holding us down. Thank you for helping us make things happen. And look, our friends are back from Scotland. We have some of our friends from London back. Here's some one that someone sent us. What kind of shoes do frogs wear? What kind of shoes do frogs wear? I don't know. Open toed. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Open toed. That's from Rebecca and from Florida. Thank you for that. Feel free to send them to us. We could always use clips of kids um, telling some jokes. As a matter of fact, right now I have one. Um, this is. This is our friend's little sister, Sydney. This is Sydney. Here we go. And I'm going to unmute and. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. That was, the, that was the, the end of it. Yeah, that's what happens. Listen, I'm a little bit slow on this, but I tried to put them all together in a loop, which yeah. everybody is trying to learn some. Here we go. Okay, and there we go. It's you know what? It's my fault. They're trying to get a little bit fancy. I actually put them all together in a little mini movie. So here you go. Here's it. How do you get a square out of like you? Get a square out of like you. Act like a nut. How do you get a squirrel to like you? Act like a nut. That's hysterical. 
you uh, have any any other ones for mm -hmm. us? I actually do. Okay. While well, you're looking yours up, or do you know them I by heart? Whoa! Look at this kid. By the way, we want to say a, a little. One. Well, I just want to say something. There's Luca and his friends were working on a play for the spring. They were going to do Schoolhouse Rock. I'm sure a lot of kids had a lot of things. They were getting ready for spring concerts or sports or whatever. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't perform those. Perform them. Tape them. Send them. We can play them right here on our show. We just we want to make sure that you stay creative. Stay creative. Okay, so go ahead. Tell us that joke. How do you get a cucumber to turn into a pickle? How do you get a cucumber to turn into a pickle? Make it go through a jarring experience. <laughs> You're so silly. Uh, here's another one. We have another one that was from, submitted from Sean Morton. Thank you, Sean, for this one. How do you wake up Lady Gaga? I don't know. How do you wake up Lady Gaga? You poke her face. <laughs> po -po -po poke her face. Po -po poke her face. Po -po poke her face. Go ahead. Well, don't sing it because they won't let us probably play this. All right, here's another point of ours. Very funny comedian. You might have seen him on the um, Access of Evil comedy show. I'm trying to. Oh, oh don't hit delete. It was and, uh, I know. <laughs> and uh, just he's a great actor. I've seen him uh, next Friday and just or Friday after. Just very funny. The, Great mustard you bomb. Make jokes for you. First joke. What's a good night for a fish to go out? Tuna it. You get it? Tuna it like tonight. Your second joke, kids. What is a good place for rappers to go shop clothes? Jay Z Penny. Name it's two kids. And a one and a two. That was Joey, ladies and gentlemen, so following Maz Gibran, and we had Joey, because then that just makes it easier for us. So special thanks to Maz and Joey for those. What did the band director name his two kids? And a one and a two. That's so cute. All right, so I have a couple quick ones. Um, it, it's a little bit something silly. Now, what you guys don't have is something I know you try, but we ask your parents, ask your grandparents about prank phone calls. You would call someplace, you'd call a store, maybe. Now, and say, uh, is the refrigerator running? And they'd say, yes. And you'd say, go catch it. So those are little things you can maybe do to your friends and family. You can also answer the phone with uh, funny things. When someone calls your house, you can say, uh, hey, fish bait and grill, you hook them, we cook them. Right? It's silly. You can say, um, mom's cupcake factory, is this order for pickup or delivery? That's silly, right? When Thank you for calling Paula's Prank Emporium. This is Paula. How can I prank you? Just silly stuff, right? Um, okay, do you have any more jokes for us? Uh, no, I'm all out. I have one. This is another submission. Um, oh, by the way, let's take care of it. Gary Babcock, happy birthday. All these jokes. He says, tell me a joke, it's my birthday. Uh, I'll say this, Gary. Knock, knock. Say, who's there? <laughs> he even, who's there? Old age. Say, old age who? Old age who? Oh, I, I thought that was. When you get old, you can't hear things. I ready. Oh, I can't hold on. I just wanted to say hi. Why well, was Amy? We're going to do it. So let's definitely, um, we played Mazda Brownie for you. And now let's play. We have a special of ours. Another one, very funny guy, great person. Does a lot with a, a charity called um, Regular Hero. And it's for kids uh, who are in the hospital. Regular Hero Foundation. This is our friend, Steve Simone. Steve Simone, if you're looking him up. So. Can you see the giant big ocean? How do you know when the ocean says hello? It waves. <laughs> it waves. <laughs> That's good too. Why did the cookie go see the doctor? Because he was feeling crummy. <laughs> he was feeling crummy. <laughs> so, those are such silly jokes, but it's so kind of our friends that are real comics. Please make sure you're going up such 
do that. find a special that you like. I have a special called the Way After School special that's out right now, or Finding the Funny that's on Prime. Um, you laugh, but the kids need to laugh. You just need how many laughs a day? One. That's it, just one laugh a day. So find one silly joke. Um, we have a couple more just to tell you. You have to know. All right, I got some silly ones, okay? Um, what do you get when you cross a cat and a lemon? We get when you cross a triceratops and a kangaroo. Triceratops. What do you get when you cross a dog and a frog? A cracker spaniel. <laughs> so we're gonna do um, one last. We're gonna play one last one for you. But please share this with your friends, your family, just anyone who needs a joke. We know they're goofy. We know these are silly. We understand that. But here's the last one we're playing. Um, here we go. And here is Carl. Please remember to submit jokes for us. What does the elephant wear to go swimming? Their trunk. So cute. What does the elephant wear to go swimming? Their trunk. Thank you for laughing. It's going to be okay. Just remember to hang in there. Do something good for someone else. It's the best way. The best way to get rid of your sadness is do something kind for someone else. So... Here we are. I'm Tammy Petitelli. This is my son, Luca. And this was Finding the Funny Man Style. Thank you. Tune in next week and share.